If you had asked me a year ago if I enjoyed being anorexic, and I answered you honestly, I would tell you I wouldn't rather be anything else. It awarded me compliments. You're so skinny. How do you stay so skinny? It made me special. In some twisted cry for help, I wanted to keep going until I was visibly suffering. I thought I had to be completely emaciated for the people I loved to care. What I didn't see was the dark circles under my eyes and the pale, grey undertone of my washed-out skin. But I wasn't thin enough to look disordered, I thought. I still ate two meals a day and sometimes breakfast. I still felt inferior to the girls who could walk around in crop tops, the girls who never ate and were beautiful for it. I craved the attention they received. I didn't think any other form of validation was enough. And this is no one's fault but mine. I hold all of the power to turn it around. But lately I feel myself slipping back into the clutches of calorie restriction and self-hatred, the silent emptiness of isolating myself into a void of self-absorbed obsession where nothing matters but the shape of my belly button and the size of my waist. I've been trying to repair my relationship with food, but I still find myself worried about macros, micros, calories, and exercise. I am not going to die if I eat what's in front of me. 400 calories will not kill me. It will give me my hormones back. It will cover the bones protruding from my hips. It will restore shape to my body. It will bring color to my cheeks where there is none. And eventually, it will make me happy to be living in myself.